Welcome back, everybody. All right, so there are new trends that make this new decade and new year different when it comes to love. Really? So what can we expect when it comes to romance trends in 2010? The love doctor, Dr. Terry Orbach, is in with a look at what's new. So this is interesting, Terry. Something as old as time, romance, and love changes with the times. It definitely changes, and we see new trends, new forecasts, predictions that will be important every single year. Really? Yes. So, so what are you forecasting when you yes, look out on the interior crystal ball? <laughs> In my crystal ball. Yes. Well, first, I forecast a pragmatic or practical approach to relationships that people will be taking in 2010. Given that all that's happening in the economy and outside of relationships, I really think people are gonna sit down and say, I need to carve out time for my relationships. I'm gonna put relationships on my to-do list, just like grocery shopping mm. and exercising. And I think that's a positive thing, not a negative thing. So they're gonna write down, find time for friends, spend more time with my kids, have dinner with them more, and find new activities to do with my partner. Harder All good. to do, harder to do though. It seems like people's lives are busier than ever before. And of course, you always hear people saying that, but truly it seems like it's hard to find that time. It is hard to t find that time, Rip. I totally agree, and that's why we need to write it down to make sure it happens. Because if you don't carve out that time, make special time for your relationships, they're going to slip away. And they're so important as things get busier and busier. Yeah, it's just like exercising. But, you know, it, it should be like brushing your teeth. Right. Exercising. Second nature. Right. Spending time with brushing your family. Your teeth, spending time right. with your family. Absolutely. What else are we looking at in 2010? I mean, a new decade, it's a whole new start. People kind of look at the new year and say, let's start from scratch. Here. Well, I think second, what we're going to see is a focus on healthy living. We've been seeing that over the years, but study after study shows that when you do those healthy lifestyle changes with your partner or with your family, eating healthy, dieting, exercising, much more likely to be successful. So what I see in 2010 are more programs being offered and more people teaming together with their partners to do those kinds of lifestyle changes together. And besides, when you exercise with your partner, you ignite passion mm. because the arousal that's produced through exercise gets transferred to your relationship and your partner. So more couple trends of teaming together and doing those healthy lifestyle changes. Never knew the treadmill could be such a great Yes, absolutely. Romantic Perhaps place. a visit to the gym today, Ruth. <laughs> 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 On top. There you go. Instead the of going to. <laughs> Forget the wine and candles. Yeah, who needs that Let's when you have a treadmill at the JCC? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> and now Next, it's technology. The third thing that we're going to see is more and more technology is going to be important to our relationships. Finding new partners as well as maintaining our relationships. What do so you mean, texting, like texting, okay. cell phones, web cameras, Twitter, all kinds of things. And 2010 will be the year of online dating. Mm. We know that it's become more and more popular, but in 2010, it is going to be the way for singles to find a companion or that someone special. It does seem to work. It does work. It is very successful. Yeah. And you can look or uh, meet people, many people at once, in your pajamas at home. Right. So it's great. You shouldn't send apologies to your girlfriend or wife via Facebook or Twitter for something no. you've done. No, no. it's a new Technology day. Technology <laughs> should not be used in this way. I would well, think that would be that, looked at as a little right. much, right? I think, well, you could start the apology, but you surely can't do all of the conflict management using Twitter or a That text. is the wimpy way out. Absolutely. Texting all right, last one, out, Doctor. And last thing is affective affirmation. What we will find in 2010 is that people are going to sit back and really appreciate the people that are important to them. We're going to say thank you. We're going to appreciate our partners, our family members, our kids, and our friends. And we're really going to give what I call affective affirmation or validation or appreciation to those people that are important. Have we mentioned how much it means for us, for you to come on the show? <laughs> See, that's so and to wonderful. To be a part of our morning. Thank you, Dr. Get up Jim. early on a Saturday I in the freezing that. cold and sit in this freezing cold studio. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. My pleasure. For more of the Love Doctor's advice, check out her new book. It's Five Simple Steps to Take Your Marriage from Good to Great. You can also get a link to the Love Doctor's website by going onto our website. That's myfoxdetroit.com. We'll be right back.